Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season four, episode four of The Expanse. This episode is called Retrograde, which doesn't sound great to me. Between reacting to the last episode and this one, as promised, I have uh, watched rewatched the first three episodes with my wife. So we like to binge every three episodes that I see. We sit down and binge those three episodes. So, you know, when we get to episode six, then we'll watch the next three. It's really interesting going back to episode one where the guy was tailing Bobby and then they ended up having the drink in the bar and he was talking about his discharge and her discharge and, and those frustrations. And I'd actually forgotten that at the time I'd speculated if that was inauthentic, if maybe people were trying to kind of get to Bobby and recruit her using her kind of um, frustrations. Now seeing what we've seen with Issei Martin, it definitely feels to me like they've actually been kind of Bobby was the target all along and maybe David was just an access point into her. His horrible little blonde girlfriend it says to Bobby when she first sees her, um, oh, David always talks about his aunt, the he aunt Bobby the hero or whatever. I'm just thinking if maybe actually they brought David in as a means to get to Bobby rather than this situation just falling out naturally, like David got in trouble, Bobby helped him, and then they see an opportunity. I think they've actually had their eye on Bobby for a lot longer and maybe they'd hope to reach her one way that didn't work so they try and reach her another way and i've done this and while we're on bobby um obviously we had her <sighs> do the deal with the devil with isa martin she's now enabled him to get his hands on the type beam encryption module which i'm assuming enables some sort of secret communication that's not great and we also found out that the guys who actually picked that up were at OPA, so that's probably going to tie in to the other stuff we've got going on with Marco and Naros and Kamina and Ashford and what's happening with the Belters. Meanwhile, on Illus, everything is just going to shit because Murtry is a fucking psychopath and is basically just out for blood at this point in the game. And he got a lot of it. Last episode, there was an attempted mutiny by uh, the Belters, the residents of Illus. But of course, Murtry is all over it. He's listening in. He's waiting for his moment. He takes it. But it left a very bitter kind of taste in my mouth. And um, he was answering the question at the end, at the beginning. The guy he killed had said to him, are you going to kill all of us? And, um, and Murtry then at the end says, you know, I hope that answers your question. And boof, shoots him. So that was the bookend question of the episode. We've got very concerning scenes happening with Avasa Rala at the moment, kind of trying to close down Nancy Gao. And I'm not entirely sure how successful that method is. And, and whether it's successful or not, as a matter of principle, it's not great. But we're going to see how that plays out. We haven't yet met, we don't think, Marco Inaros. We don't know quite how everything ties together, but it's starting to look now like we have our little conspiracy going on. Jim has gone full Captain Ahab again. If you remember when Jim was on IO and losing his shit going after the hybrid and telling everyone to shut the fuck up and shoot and we're going in and all that kind of, I got that kind of a vibe off Jim last episode where he's very singularly focused on on the destruction he thinks of the remaining proto molecule and it doesn't ever seem to end well when Jim goes down that route so I'm not quite sure how well that's gonna pan out Naomi is on the verge of death in frankly she won't open up with the gym she's not really opening up to anyone i think alex is the only person who actually knows and obviously um is it loose the med tech on illus and naomi is resisting 
any and all advice. At this point, I would be tranquilizing her and sending her back up a well, because enough, just enough, Naomi. That would be my personal approach, but obviously that is not to everyone's tastes. So that's about the Layla land right now. I'm going to shut up and get into the episode because I want to see what's going to happen. So without further ado, let's have at it. Wow, here we go. Oh, fuck. What the hell is going on out there? My tree. He gunned down my friends. He's coming for me. I'll take you to the Rosie. You'll be safe there. But we're leaving. Amos. Shit. Out of our way. Watch it. Get them. Ah! Oh shit! Is that us? Oh my god! Get out then! Whose side are you on? Get him out! Get him out! Oh, I'm gonna kill that prick! Killing him be more trouble than it's worth. Oh. I am so mad right now! You were at the ruins when the lightning started. Mm. I think you knew this was going to happen. And you know more than you're telling me. Uh, she's right. Who is Miller? No. Unfortunately, that's on a need to know basis, Tom. Good night. And good luck. <laughs> at this point, I think I qualify. Jim, Murtry's on a rampage. He killed four settlers. What? And now he's after Lucia. I'm, I'm taking her to the Rosie. What? Are you hurt? We're okay. Stay where you are, we'll come get you. It'll be safer if we keep moving. Just meet us at the Rosie. Fuck's sake. I am not happy. Captain Holden, this is not a good time. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Bringing terrorists to justice. If they murdered yours, you'd be doing the same. If you hurt Naomi, you are a dead man. Naomi? She's helping the criminal. Because uh, you don't get to kill whoever you want. You are not the law here. We have bigger issues than your shuttle crash. The structures on this planet are machines, and one of them just turned on. Is that why you launched a torpedo? Yes. Did it work? For the moment, but there could be more. Well, then we'll deal with them as they come. I have no quarrel with your girl, and I have no intention of harming her, but she's helping a criminal. Now, if you really care about her, tell us to surrender. Fugitive. This for Naomi Nagata, they're heading towards the Russell Hotel. Take a car, Jim. get there first, do not let them in. Get on it! Move! I swear to God, I swear to God. James, my dear boy, I sent you to that planet to be my eyes and ears. And now, large ruins that were supposed to be inert are shooting out lightning. So, please, mm. find a way to carve a few moments out of your busy schedule mm. Pick up a goddamn cum and tell me precisely what the fuck is going on down there. Excuse me. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. They're ready for the interview. Oh, man. She's hilarious. Oh, Bobby. Wow. Whoa. Some gear was stolen last night, Bay 12. The security door was left unlocked on purpose to allow two black marketeers to get in after hours. I was in on it. You told anyone else about it? No, sir. He's in on it as well. I'd be willing to keep this just between us. You would? <sighs> oh, my sweet summer child. You could make it happen again, right? Sir? War's over. All this tech we salvaged and put in storage just taking up shelf space. Yeah. It's hard to keep track of it all. So what's the harm in doing it again? It's all falling apart. Unless you prefer I report you. You won't have to. I quit. Hey! Come on. Oh, this man. is a great opportunity for both of us. So unfair. She is just surrounded by corruption. Mars is in bits. I got a pulse. 
Paul's OPAS tie in the belt. Okay. I'm just so sad for Bobby. She's basically doing what she was trained to do. She was told this is what constitutes a good Martian and, and throughout this entire story she's been that Martian. But she's like the only person doing it. <laughs> the people that trained her aren't doing it. The people around her aren't doing it. Um, it really does feel like Martian society is properly on the, on the fritz right now with the developments with the ring gates and, and all of that kind of stuff. It's almost like this season Bobby is Don Quixote in that, you know, she's operating with this level of chivalry and regard and honour in a time where that is now basically a joke because no one else around her is and the systems of authority are quietly breaking down. So superficially nothing appears to have changed, but it's really clear that something awful and insidious and toxic is is happening to that society as people just don't see the fucking point in it anymore so she's almost like this relic of a bygone era well sort of what mars might have been which is you know horrible for her because that's become her character her identity so she's unlikely to change which means she will probably have to find somewhere else to be and another way to contribute that's consistent with her principles because i don't think she's going to find that on mars anymore that is heartbreaking. Poor Bobs. So again, she tries to do the right thing. And again, she's just another corrupt person. She's really attempting to, to settle this and it's not happening. So that's Bobby. Now we're going to go off and see what's happening in the belt. Play. <coughs> oh, shit. Marco Naros. Just the man you want. How did you find him? On Metis. Why, was he trying to get caught? Hmm? Doesn't bet our markets for stolen goods closer than I bet. Why go so far sunward? It's a trap! Oh, man. Out of respect. I won't waste your time. I'll give you double to let me go. I'm a friend of Naomi Nagata. There's only one way you're getting out of here. Wow. You need to take this off right now. I would tear this fucking bed apart. You want to stay alive? You need to shut the fuck up and hope that Murtry forgets about you. But Murtry pulled me out of the mud once and I'll never be done paying him back for that. Why don't you sit the fuck down? Thanks. Really didn't want to have to shoot him. Fucking hell. Pauls. So we've got Marco and Aros. He's a cute looking little fella, isn't he? That's going to be interesting. He looks like a proper charmer. I'm assuming a narcissist. So he's going to be incredibly charming and effective in convincing people to do what he wants them to do. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's absolutely, from what Ashford said, he's set up to be caught. So, can only imagine what his game, his ultimate game plan is. Is he going to attempt to win, you know, to drive a wedge through Ashford and Kamina for his own ends? I will not trust that man as far as I can throw him. He's done Naomi dirty. He's not winning me over. And we have our beautiful Amos, shirtless. Thank you again, the creators of The Expanse. But sadly, he is detained. So we don't know. I'm pissed. I don't know how we're going to take Murtry down now. Our best warriors are occupied. Fuck. Play. I need your scopes. I have two fugitives on the run heading away from the settlement, and I need eyes on them now. Fugitives? Who? Why That's would... That's your concern, Doctor. Now, are you going to assist me, or would you rather become the new focus of my anger? What the fuck? Sorry, Chief. Can't help you. We're heading behind the planet. Signal blackouts imminent. We'll talk to you again in 11 hours, 43 minutes, and 19 seconds. Well Stop. done. Well done. 
Yes! This camp is now on lockdown. Oh, fuck off. I need about to try anything. Shoot them. This guy is a psycho. Come on. We're not far now. <sighs> I don't like this. You need to rest. Oh, yeah. Matri is an animal. Thank you. But he's not wrong. We did what he said. I did this. What? Oh, I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. Lucia! We've never had to deal with so many veterans returning home at the same time. Frankly, our placement services have been overwhelmed. Fancy meeting you here. Hmm. Same to you. So... So this is what I have to look forward to now, huh? Braces suck. That's what they always tell me. How about another beer? Of course, I was disappointed when I heard the news about Nancy Bell. I had always found her life story to be so inspiring. It was sad to me. The truth is that Nancy Bell defrauded our government for her own personal gain. That's some shit. Does this place feel different to you? Well, I think they mm. rotated taps on Tuesdays. No, no, the, the planet. Yeah. Since the last time you left. My whole life, I don't think I met one single person who was ever unemployed. And now there are lines of them. Yeah. Kind of makes you feel like that way, doesn't it? Mm. Fuck it. Mars don't deserve us. Pause. That's a really interesting scene when you think about it, about how Mars looked upon the unemployed, the people on basic on Earth, what they call them, takers. And now they're in the situation, they're realising this is what it looks like when you don't have a full employment society. There just aren't the opportunities and you've got no choice but to do your best to find work and wait while you find it. It's a hell of a turn, a hell of a turn. And when you think how fucking awful Martian society is about that sort of stuff as well. It's like, not only are you going to have those people being treated like shit, but I think there's going to be a lot of internalised shame because they are kind of, it's like, well, it's like the flip side of the pride that drives them forward to, to do things can then becomes internalised shame when they're not able to do those things because they've not got the opportunity to do them. So just I love exploring that through drama in this way and you realise that's just the way shit is. There are not enough opportunities for everybody but some people want to pretend there are so that they can shit on people who are already been shat on by circumstances. But that's by the by. Play. Disappointed. By so many things. You son of a bitch. Naomi's not here. Oh, I know. She's not with you. Or the bell. She's back with her precious inners. Where's her son? You used her for murder and stole her child when she tried to leave. <laughs> Is that the story she's telling now? Fuck off. Did she lie? Oh, we all lied to ourselves first. We were barely more than children ourselves. Oh, vodka and swagger. You know the age. No, it's never that young. <laughs> destroyed the Agustin Gamara. Naomi and I destroyed that ship together. But it haunted her. I held her every night when she woke up screaming and dried her tears. So, our fighters, and some are not. You can't know which until the fight happened. I don't blame her for leaving. What did you do with Philip? The best I could. 
What a prick. Oh. Pulls. Yeah, as I suspected, so he's triangulating, as any good narcissist does, with his different story, to sow doubt in our minds and everyone else's minds. I am going to be attempting to stay firm and not be fucked with by this prick. Not today, Marco and Aros. Not today. So let's see, Kamina's take must be fucking not, um, deeply unpleasant for Kamina to listen to that because she'd kill to spend the night holding Naomi after a nightmare and wiping her tears away. <sighs> Let it go. He talks too much. <laughs> but we have another problem. Oh, no. no response from our heads. Can we take it in battle? <laughs> one on one. Uh, it'd be better if we run. Shit. Stay where you are, we'll come get you. No. Gods at the airlock you have to get rid of them. They could fire down on us from there, but they won't shoot at the UN secretary general's personal envoy. Let's go. Are you sure you're ready? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Oh, my kid. <gasps> you fucking punk! That's Lucy dead then. Great. Oh, God, this guy.